but it's great also if you actually have QuickBooks online, but it's your business file and you want to practice with something. Well, then you don't want to practice in your actual company file. You want to use this file typically to do that. But remember, if you're logged into your business file, you won't be able to do that in the same browser oftentimes because Intuit will try to log into a different account to get into this test drive. So you can use an incognito window or a different browser. All right, so this is what we'll use in the first half of the course. Now, when you want to purchase the software, after you do a test drive or after you take the course or, or whatever, and you're convinced that this is right for your business, then you might want to look into the, obviously the best price that you can get. You might want to ask your accountant or a QuickBook advisor to see if there are any uh, discounts available uh, and, and, and then purchase the software uh, in that fashion, uh, looking obviously for the best price on the purchase. In other words, what we're trying to do here is find places purely for practice, sandboxes that we can use for practice, either a sandbox that has nothing in it, which, which might be good with the student files of the 30 day trial, so we can practice setting up the software from scratch, or sandboxes that already do have stuff in it, such as the test drive, so that we can practice navigating the software with stuff that's already in it. Let's do a quick look on how to find some of these things from a browser. So let's first I'll, I'll go to Intuit. So this is Intuit, it's intuit.com. This is the owner of QuickBooks page. So this is the first place I would typically go because QuickBooks has a lot of different web pages within it. So I always start from the source here, intuit.com, intuit.com. Then I'm gonna to go to the QuickBooks software. Intuit owns different, different softwares, MailChimp, TurboTax, and so on. We'll go into the QuickBooks website. When you go into the QuickBooks website, this is the change, this is the page that they change most often. It's typically geared towards QuickBooks Online, but I usually go all the way to the bottom where they have this products area. The products area has been here for a long time. And then I can go into here and I wanna go specifically to the QuickBooks Online uh, page. And in the QuickBooks Online page, you will see that you, this is where that toggle happens. Now, again, if I hit that toggle, it's scary because the prices jump up. So you got to remember, if I'm hitting that toggle, I'm trying not to be locked in to anything past the 30 days. I'm trying to practice for the 30 days. Is how is is so you want to make sure that you you know what you're doing uh, when you're when you're taking the practice file and how you're going to implement it and whatnot. And you know, so read the terms of service and all that kind of stuff. So in any case. Uh, that is that one. Now, if I go into the, the test drive, that's different than the test drive, remember. If I scroll down here, I think there's a test drive. When Here it is. So it says, take a test drive. So I believe this is going to give you actually the, the test uh, drive company file, which is different. Now, I think the easiest way to get in, into here, because sometimes they change this page. They haven't changed this page for a while, but you know they could change this page. So if they were to change anything, then you might just type into your favorite browser, QuickBooks Online test drive. And this is what we'll do a lot going forward. You might be a little bit less comfortable doing that because now we're gonna go into a, 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 a random search. But if you can see here that it's from intuit.com, Intuit is the owner of QuickBooks. So you feel pretty secure that you're in a solid place. So I would look through here and say, okay, where's the test drive? Is it coming from Intuit, QuickBooks, intuit.com, okay. And then I'll go into that. And then here's gonna be our test drive. We're gonna be using the United States test drive here. I'm not gonna be using the advanced, but just the normal. It'll usually ask if you're a robot and we're gonna say, we're gonna say that we are not a robot. And then we'll go into the sample company file, which already has data in it. So you can see how that's gonna be important because now I can navigate around here. So this is gonna be the tool that we'll use for the first half of the course. Second half of the course, we'll, we'll go into using, uh, see if we can use an actual company file, which possibly you can leverage the free 30 day trial for. And then if you wanna look into the student file, you can look into, I would just type into your browser, uh, quick books online, free student something like that and it gives me the free 30-day tr trial uh, register and activate quickbooks online student trial 
So you might be able to find something like that here and then read through uh, their process, register for the, for the Intuit education program, verify your eligibility, duh, duh, and you can activate your student trial. So get started. So this might give you access to uh, the software possibly for a longer period than the 30 days. So if you're at any kind of accredited institution, uh, then you might look into that in more detail and that might be a, 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 a really nice tool.